Burma coup resistance notes November 14, 2022. News has emerged of a slaughter of junta troops during dictator Min Ong Lang visit to Dawei City on November 2-4. It started with a PDF bombing after which injured and frenzied troops shot each other, including some with missing limbs. Two PDFs say they detonated four powerful roadside bombs as the troops were passing, then the PDFs opened fire with rockets and gunfire. They say at least 20 troops were killed. At the end of the dictator's visit on November 5, a convoy of 16 troops was blown up in Longlone Township, killing five, and the same day in Yefiu Township another convoy of 100 troops was hit by four roadside bombs, killing about 40. A total of about 60 troops were killed out of 400 deployed for the dictator's visit. The dictator himself traveled by helicopter and was not exposed to the slaughter. Ethnic regions. Some pictures and details are emerging from the Karen Army's triple victory November 12th in Klai Wee 2 district of Korthule, Shwegyan Township on Burmese maps. The Junta Battalion commander at the Bor Kartar camp was killed. The Karen Army says 11 Junta soldiers died, and that at least one Karen soldier was also killed and some wounded. Dozens of mortars, rifles, and other equipment and weapons were captured and taken away by the Karen forces when they overran the enemy camps. In Arakan State, the junta has begun stealing private trucks from civilian drivers to use in shipping army food and weapons. This is to try to avoid attacks by the Arakan army such as the one that captured two junta food trucks three days ago. Junta Army Desertions the junta is having to allocate some of its scarce manpower to try to find deserters from the army and police. In Naputau Township of Irrawaddy region troops have spent a week doing that, and have caught six. The report doesn't say how many they are looking for. This is likely the tip of a very big iceberg, since desertions are not publicly reported, and other sources have said commanders keep missing soldiers on their rosters in order to continue receiving the accompanying supplies from the army. Junta Scorched Earth Village Terrorism Campaign About 70 troops in five vehicles burned villages in Mattaya Township of Mandalay Region on November 12, and as they were returning to base after a hard day of terrorism, a PDF bombed the convoy, killing three troops and wounding eight. People's Defense Forces PDFs A PDF counter-attacked 80 Junta troops during an assault on Tangyi Village in Wetlet Township two days ago November 12, killing five of the terrorists and wounding others. Two PDF soldiers were slightly wounded. The PDF had to break off due to insufficiency of weapons and ammunition. The same day, a PDF in Salingyi Township of Zagaring region fired 40mm grenades at troops guarding the Chinese Wang Pao Company, killing two. Yesterday 100 junta troops returning from a terrorist assault on Shui Lan village were counter-attacked by PDF soldiers in Yesigyo Township, casualties aren't reported. Also in Yesigyo, 50 PDF soldiers attacked a junta military hospital where a wounded Paiu Sohiti terrorist leader was being treated for a gunshot wound. The PDF killed him and two junta troops. In a November 11 multi-village assault by terrorist troops landing by helicopter in Yiyu Township, the troops tortured and then shot five local people, including two teachers participating in the National Civil Disobedience Strike, a mentally ill man, and two others. Then they kidnapped two other villagers as hostages when they retreated. Urban warfare. Village destruction has come to Yangon. The junta now claims that it owns the land in five wards of Mingaladan Township, near the airport, where people have built 10,000 homes and have been living for 20 years. It ordered everyone out within seven days and will raise entire neighborhoods to the ground, leaving 50,000 people homeless. The homeowners legally bought the land from farmers 20 years ago. Last night a junta patrol car was blown up in Lang Township of Yangon, sending two troops to the hospital. Another bomb was found before it could go off. There were also explosions in Sanchang, Thakata, Boldertang, and Mingalatang townships. A police station was bombed in Lang Fire Township. For the past few days Burma media have been full of reports and video footage of violent crimes being committed in cities due to the lack of police protection since the coup. Crime has been increasing sharply for months, as criminals take advantage of the absence of police, who are all busy fighting to maintain the junta in power rather than carrying out police duties. Citizens face the double threat of a criminal regime and dangerous street criminals. Political and economic, family members of the junta generals will travel to Russia to purchase more weapons. Even while the country lacks foreign currency reserves to import enough fuel and food, 
the regime still dedicates millions of dollars for these arms purchases in Russia. These sales pass through junta-related front companies, diverting about 30% of the profits into the private pockets of junta generals and their cronies. A common theory is that this is the real reason the junta kills thousands of its citizens to hang on to power. At a holiday parade, a marcher was abducted by junta troops because he was showing an image of Burma's national independence hero General Aung San. General Aung San was the father of current elected head of state Do Aung San Suu Kyi, leader of the overwhelmingly popular NLD party that crushed the junta's political party in the last elections in November 2020. The junta has been keeping the 77-year-old leader in solitary confinement in one of its prisons. Yeah. Don't forget subscribe, like, share.